guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i'm b and i am so excited for this video don't mind my closet i still haven't gotten something to cover it but i am going to be doing a weekend reading vlog i am starting this on a friday it is literally like 1 30 on a friday so that's technically not the weekend but i'm considering it the weekend because i just finished my classes and my meetings for the day i do still have schoolwork to do for the weekend but it's not a lot of things so we're gonna just mix that in but let's go figure out what book i'm reading for the weekend i want to read multiple i don't know if that will happen because i'm not a super fast reader but i finished dance of thieves last night so freaking good i have my review on goodreads so i'm not going to ramble or rant about it right now it would be a good rant i love it so much but these are the only books i brought with me for those of you who didn't see my last video i am currently moved out like i'm at co my college or university it's whatever and these are the only books I brought with me, but I want to read this so bad. Oh, also, this is a cute little reading journal that Serena got me, um, my twin sister, for Christmas. And I really want to fill this out. So I think I want to fill that out with Dance of Thieves. And then I'm going to start reading It Starts With Us. I am so excited to read this. If you guys watched my 24-hour readathon, my most recent one where I read viral TikTok books, I read It Ends With Us. And now I'm dying to read It Starts With Us. And so I'm finally going to read it. I literally don't know how I've gotten this far without getting any spoilers because there's a lot on Instagram, but I have to like scroll past them really quickly every time because I'm like, I don't want to know anything that happened. So don't worry, this vlog is going to be spoiler free for all of the books that I read, but I will share my reactions and I'm really excited to get started. So like I said, it's Friday. I don't really have any plans today. I do have some schoolwork, like I said, that I need to do, but I will get to that later. I don't have a lot. I've been really productive this week. So the, what, the list of things I have to do for the weekend is very minimal, but let's go make some coffee because I want to have some coffee while I read. Okay, I've been using these ones a lot. In fact, I finished the other box, but I think today we're gonna use this one. These are the ones we have left. So the top ones are espressos. These ones, this one's a double espresso. I don't need that right now. And then there's a Grand Lungo, Lungo. <laughs> Okay, it's a little less than a coffee coffee, and then we have all of these coffees. I like really want to try this one, but I feel like I should save it, you know? Oh, this one sounds so good. It's from Ethiopia. I think we're gonna go with Colombia. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, I have my coffee, I have my book, and I am so excited to get started. I am basically going into this blind. Like, all I know about this book is that it follows Lily and Atlas, and I'm really excited for that. I don't really know anything that happens. I don't know if it's sad, like it ends with us with sad. I hope this one is happy and no sad girl tears will be shed, we'll see. But let's start. Oh my gosh! Wait, okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay, I put my hair up. I put my hair up when I read because I don't like it in my face. We're gonna get Atlas's POV in this book. We did not get it in the last book and wait, I would love- oh my god, I'm actually so excited to get his POV. Ooh, and it's starting off on Atlas's POV. I'm so intrigued. Also, I don't remember when exactly I read it and it ends with us. Ugh. Might have been like November, I want to say. I don't remember, to be honest. But I think I remember, like, I remember obviously everything that happened. I was just, like, I think I remember enough to just dive into the sequel. You know, like, for a fantasy, like, you kind of need to get, like, reoriented with the world building and the characters if you're reading a sequel after some time has passed. I feel like romance is different where I can just jump right back in. So we'll see, but I'm, I'm so excited that this first POV is Atlas. <laughs> are back in this in the first book there were like letters in it it's kind of like a way of like bringing the past pov into the book but now she's writing letters in the present and it's like a nice little touch i love it okay it's like 320 and i'm like 20 pages in like i said i am not a fast reader and also i got really distracted on my phone but this book is really really good so far what i like about colleen hoover's writing is that it feels like breathing like it's so easy to read and like fly through 
she says as she's 20 pages in. But I think I'm gonna hang out with my friend now, so I need to figure out what to wear. But let's also get a bookmark for this because I was about to dog ear my page, but I can't do that, so. Let's go do that. Oh, also, the coffee is so good. I'm almost done it. I didn't really finish it, but I really like the pod that this was. The Columbia one or the Ethiopia or whatever it was. So good. So let's find a bookmark. Oh my gosh, is this making anyone like stressed? Because my bed is white. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm like so used to walking on a thin line with everything that I put on my bed. Um, yeah, here are the bookmarks that I brought and then I think I have one on my desk, but I think I'm gonna use this one I got this one from like a thrift bookstore with my friend where like you get a free bookmark with like every purchase or whatever But I like it because it's white so it like goes with everything Okay, this is the outfit I decided on not too sure how I feel about it And I'm also gonna bring my slippers in my tote bag because I'm a slippers galley and I don't know if anyone else does that But sometimes I bring slippers to my friend's house I don't know. <laughs> but they're just so like cozy. But anyway, I don't know how I feel necessarily about this outfit. I mean, first of all, these need to, need to be washed. Like there's like a stain on the back or something. And this feels a little too dressy, even though it's literally just like a casual, like it's, I consider it casual, but, but I don't know. I think this is the move. So I'm going to bus to my friend's house. Yesterday, after I got back from Hannah's house, I read for literally the rest of the night with like a snack and I thought it was so funny because I read a point where it said pad thai like they were eating pad thai and I was like what are the odds because yesterday Hannah and I made pad thai so that was interesting also I'm vlogging outside which is like a new thing for me because I like don't vlog in public usually but it's happening so there goes that but right now I'm gonna get my nails done because they are super overgrown if you can tell like they're so overgrown so I'm gonna get my nails done and then there's like a bookstore near the nail place that I'm going to so I might go to the bookstore and buy books or no I might go to the bookstore and look at books but I can't buy books because I'm on a book buying ban literally can't afford to and I have so many books that I brought with me that I haven't read yet so but we are gonna go book shopping but I did want to update y'all that I'm on page 148 of this book and I love it so much. It's not super plot driven. I mean, I know a lot of romances are, but this feels way less plot driven than it ends with us, I guess, because there are a lot of moments where it's like things are happening and it's like, you're, I don't really know how to explain it. This one is a lot more like character driven, just like day-to-day -day lives, like in conversations and stuff like that. While also like it's still advancing the romance, but it feels very like day-to-day -day kind of thing. And I actually really, really like that. It's, it's like, casual it's chill and comforting like it's a comforting read i like that we're getting to know a lot more about atlas in this book because they like talked about him in the first book but they didn't and they shared some of his backstory but they didn't get into like all of it and we're getting like the missing pieces of the puzzle and i love it so much like i really 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 like him and they introduced two new characters it's not a spoil but they're two new like younger characters in this book if you know you know and i just love their personalities so much so that was like a really pleasant addition but yeah i just wanted to update you guys with where i'm at in the book i literally sorry i'm so sorry i haven't been vlogging much i've been like kind of busy today with like a bunch of schoolwork and things like that and i was supposed to go out tonight but like i have a lot of schoolwork to do and stuff like that so it's been a very non-saturday feeling saturday 
because it felt like I did a bunch of schoolwork, but I feel like that's also okay. I'm definitely gonna get a lot more reading done tomorrow, but for now, I'm gonna get such a good night's sleep. I'm so tired. I know that as soon as I shut my eyes, I will be out like a light. But yes, I will see you guys tomorrow. I've been reading for a while. I'm now on page 175 and I think I'm gonna order food because I'm hungry and I'm so lazy. I don't want to make anything and I don't really have much to make but I'm loving the book and I'm gonna eat. I'm back you guys it is literally the next week it is friday the weekend after the weekend that i just filmed that you guys just watched and i'm back home because i decided to come home over the weekend but i decided to add on to this vlog because one i was editing it and i realized how short it was and i've been trying to get into doing filming longer vlogs because i had someone point out that they wanted longer vlogs for me and i also like watching long vlogs but i realized that a lot of my vlogs are kind of short because i, I feel I, it feels like i'm filming so much content but i cut it down a lot so anyway it was really short so i was like i'm just gonna add on so here we we are another week later and we're just gonna continue from where I left off. We still have a reading filled weekend as I've been taking a break from writing because it's in the first round of beta reader feedback stage. It gives me a lot of free time to read so that has been great but I'm getting back into the writing content next week and I'm so excited for that because I've missed writing so much. But yeah the reading content continues. I have decided spontaneously on a whim to make a reading journal for this year in a bullet journal and I'm so excited. That's the package I just picked up. I immediately ordered one from Amazon after watching Brittany's reading journal video. I am literally obsessed with Alyssa and Brittany's channels. You guys have been asking for me to like recommend like author tubers and booktubers. Their channels are so amazing. I would say their content is very similar to mine in their like vlog style and the way they film. So if you're a fan of my channel, I think you'll love theirs. But they also have a lot of book content, which is great for inspiring me to read. So I love their content. And they're also bullet journal galleys. I don't want to like label them as bullet journal but like bullet journaling is something that they do and they have really aesthetic spreads and I watch them and I'm like oh my god that looks so pretty but I've never been a bullet journal person because personally I don't think it's something that I would be able to keep up with throughout the year if I make one for like instead in replacement of a planner. So I just prefer a planner. But I saw Brittany's recent video where she showed her reading journal and I was obsessed. I was immediately like, I need this. I need one. I know that I would absolutely love to use one throughout the year. I think it'll add like a fun little documentative aspect to my reading, which I like. I have Goodreads, which I will always use. I put my reviews and stuff on there, but this feels like so nice to have like different spreads for books that I'm reading throughout the year. And I was obsessed with her pages and stuff. So I I immediately was like I need to make one and then I hopped on Amazon and ordered a bullet journal which I'll show you. So this is her. Oh my gosh I'm obsessed. I literally ordered on Amazon because I was like I need it to come as soon as possible. I'm not patient. I love it. It has a little moon on it. It's black. I think it's super super cute. It's super reflective right now so you guys can probably see that you're propped up on my bookshelf. I don't know but I'm gonna be very honest. I'm not a super creative person so I'm gonna be copying a lot of her spreads because I was obsessed with the way that she laid out a lot of her journals. So full cards go to her. I will link the video of hers in the description below. You guys should totally check it out and subscribe to her and Alyssa. They're amazing. And yeah, I'm gonna be stealing a lot of her her spreads, I'm not gonna lie. But very excited to start using this. Okay, I'm totally gonna fill this out while watching something and then I will show you guys. Ooh, this is really helpful. Oh, I absolutely love this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna fill this out and then I will show you guys what I've gotten in the next little bit. Okay, really quickly, I wanted to show you guys my setup. So, obviously, my journal. Definitely need her. Um, these fine liner pens are what I'm gonna be using. They're so, so good. They're non-bleed and they're really pigmented. So, I love these. I got these in the summer because I was in a huge, like, artsy phase for, like, sketchbook. I literally just said earlier that I'm not a creative person, but I do like sketching and drawing and stuff. The only thing I mean for not a creative person is that when I have a blank page, like, it's really daunting for me to, to think of how to fill the space, like, without having, like, some sort of template or something. That's what I mean by not creative. So, when I'm, like, sketching or or drawing it's usually off of a 
of like an ins like a picture for inspiration or something like that so that's literally <laughs> what I mean but yeah I got these when I was like in a, that kind of phase in the summer which is really really fun actually I think I'm gonna get back into that in the summer but yeah so I'm gonna be using these pens and then I have my tea it's honey lemon ginger or maybe it's just honey ginger I think but it's specifically a Chinese brand, which I absolutely love because it's not like a tea bag. It's like these little like crystals or something of like whatever. And you just pour it inside and oh, so, so good. Specifically love this brand of tea. And then these are my markers. So again, in the summer when I was in that like drawing whatever phase, I got these markers. I'm pretty sure they're oil markers um and they're really really good quality they're art markers so you can get them off of amazon and i tested them to see if they would bleed through because they bleed through on my sketchbook paper which sucks because it says it said it was supposed, not supposed to bleed through or whatever but it did on my sketchbook but i tested it out on this page and it's the dark blue one and it doesn't bleed through so i'm hoping that it won't if i use it in this journal um but the light blue one is like my normal markers. So if, if I find that these are a little too much, like too pigmented or whatever, I might just use my normal markers. But for now, I think I'm going to use that for any drawings that I do. I literally have no scrapbook material, which <laughs> probably isn't great. Because I know that a lot of reading journals and like journals in general are layered and have layers and stuff. But actually, funnily enough, when I did the collab with Stationery Pal, they sent me some scrapbook paper. But since I didn't scrapbook, I just didn't use it. And I think it was in my tote bag when I was moving to Guelph. So I think it's in Guelph right now, all of my scrapbook papers, which sucks because I'm making this journal now. But we're going to make do with what we've got. And I can't wait to see how this turns out. Also, you guys, side note, when I went to get this from outside, it was freezing cold. It's the coldest day we've had, like, this winter in Canada. It's literally at negative 18 degrees outside. Celsius feels like negative 27, which is freezing cold. And, like, just one step outside, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cold. Literally, look at the icicles I have outside right now. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Those are humongous. Wow. It's kind of, like, nice scenery, though, as I'm doing this. I also have allergies, so I'm so sorry if I sound super congested. I'm also going to be trying to get through my watch later list as I'm doing this because I have not been on YouTube much, like, watching stuff because I've been so busy. But there are some videos that I want to get through because I really, really miss watching these, so I'm excited. <laughs> I'm back home. I know so many location changes so it's probably super confusing But I wanted to show you what I did so far literally everything that I did in this took me so long So I am nowhere close to done Like I literally just did like four pages because everything took longer than I thought it would take and I was like watching stuff But I love the cover but I also kind of want to have this on the cover and like glue this in the corner there And then kind of have the numbers 2023 like this I'm missing a two pretend I'm not missing a two and then like reading journal and have that be my cover But at the same time, I would need like really strong glue for that to work So I don't know yet what I'm gonna do if not then this will be my like title page But yeah, that's just what I'm thinking. I don't have glue yet So I couldn't do a lot again in this journal yet, but I'll show you what I have so far So here's my index page. I'm gonna be honest. I screwed up so many times in this journal Um, and I will show you the numerous times. I'm not surprised. Honestly, I think i'd be more surprised if I didn't So I wrote reading goals on page four first of all when there are no reading goals on page four It's actually on page seven. That's just one of the mess like the screw-ups that I did. I need to get white out because <laughs> I'll be needing it. But this is my book spread in 2023 page. I am so happy with this. A lot of these pages are inspired by, like I said, Britney's video or um, some Pinterest pictures that I that I saw. Um, yeah, but I designed this bookshelf on my own and I'm very, very proud of myself. Like the lettering and stuff and like the little knickknacks and plants everywhere and the frame. And I'm actually obsessed with how it turned out. Um, so the layout has 90 books and I wrote the number beside each book because I just know that if I like got to like here and I'm like oh how many books did I read I wouldn't want to count all of it so I like wrote the number in the corner but there's like 90 books there and my reading goal is 50 for the year so like this is just like if I read more but 
I don't really know if I will to be honest but I feel like more than 90 is like a little too much so 90 is like the limit but then I just have like some plants and stuff and then these are the first two books I read of the year and like some people color coordinate like the books or like the pages and they do like one color for physical one for like ebook one for like t um audio or something but i decided i'm just gonna do the color of the book like the closest color i can match with it so dance with these i still have to do i brought my markers with me um the i have to use these ones because i tried to use my art markers um from before they're like oil markers up here and as you can see it bled over and it was just so frustrating um but yeah, so I just use these markers, which are also really good. I have these ones. I don't remember where I got them. I think Walmart, honestly. I think I got them from Walmart for pretty cheap, but there's like 50 colors. But yeah, I literally only read two so far this year. Dance of These, and it starts with us. So I put those in there, and I'll probably just fill this out. And then this page, I think I'll do a quote. I'm not too sure what I'll do on this side, to be honest. We'll see. But this one is my 2023 reading goal, which is 50 books. And then I just have room to fill it out. And then I'm probably going to put like date completed on and then like total books read in the year like Britney did at the bottom somehow <laughs> and this is where i messed up i literally did a line on top like i just messed up a bunch in this <laughs> like literally it's so bad anyway this page is book bingo so it's just you fill it out when you read a book that like corresponds with something in one of these squares also i got this idea from Brittany. surprise surprise and i love that idea but i filled all of these out on my own um with some really exciting things that i can't wait to cross off i think i can cross some of these off with the books that i read yes because dance with these is a five star read so i'm gonna fill that out you guys will see more of this journal in like future vlogs and stuff because i'll probably obviously show it but this is just like the start i just want to show you guys the starting stuff here are my reading goals i left some spaces over here because that's where i want to like scrapbook and like when i actually have my glue and stuff and like glue stuff and things like that so that's why it's blank if you're wondering so my goals are read 50 books in 2023 read a book out of my comfort zone read at least one classic fill a shelf on my bookshelf read my 23 books in 2023 which is on this page and i'm gonna put like the 23 books of 2023 like in the corner here like a paper like a rip paper scrapbook style in the corner and then like the title whatever and then here i'm gonna put pictures of like the 23 books i want to read if you're wondering how i decided the 23 books i want to read in 2023 it's literally just mostly books that i've had on my tbr for forever and i'm like okay this is a year we're finally reading it like red white and royal blue i've been wanting to read that for so long and <laughs> never got around to it and then just some other books that people have been really recommending this year so these are all books i really want to get to this year and i think that's all i did yeah that's all i did so yeah that's my reading journal so far